it's not every day that we can see a glowing red moon, but tomorrow morning on Pi Day, no less, take a moment to look up at the night sky late tonight into early tomorrow morning and take in this magnificent sight of our moon, sun and earth all aligning, causing our moon to turn red. Here to tell us more about this lunar eclipse that is visible across North America is NASA expert Andrea Jones. Good morning, Andrea. Thanks for being up early with us this morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, and it's a pleasure to talk science. You know, I love me some science. It's not often that Earth is positioned precisely between the moon and the sun. What happens during this alignment that makes this lunar eclipse really cool for us? So a lunar eclipse happens when the sun, the Earth, and the moon line up in space, and the moon actually moves into Earth's shadow. And so the Earth blocks most of the light from the sun, but the light that does get to the moon has to filter through Earth's atmosphere. And just like you see a red sky at sunrise or sunset, that red light from all those sunrises and sunsets happening on Earth at that moment are what you're seeing during a total lunar eclipse. And that's why the moon looks this rusty red, beautiful color. And, and I heard that if we were on the moon, we would be having a total solar eclipse if we were standing on the moon. So uh, that's. You know, yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> we're on the reverse of it. So the question is, and we're, we were all we saw the solar eclipse here in North Texas last year. How can viewers see this eclipse? Do we need any special equipment? So you don't need any special equipment to see a lunar eclipse as you did for the solar eclipse. So for a lunar eclipse, if you can see the moon, you can see the eclipse. If you're able to get away from, from bright lights, um, bright city lights, bright house lights, uh, that'll give you a better view of the sky. Uh, if you have a pair of binoculars or telescope, then you can use that as well and see some features really pop out. But it's completely safe to look at a total lunar eclipse without any special equipment. You just have to get out there and look up. NASA expert Andrea, Andrea Jones, thanks so much for joining us this morning. I cannot wait to go out and look at it for tonight if Mother Nature cooperates. So thanks for joining us so far for us this morning. Thank you. Yeah, and what a cool experience. I mean, we had a solar eclipse just like a couple of years last year. Yeah. That last year? That was wow. last year. Oh, my goodness. That was last yeah. year. That was Time a sight to see, too. I was in Cleveland. It was a lot. It was great. It was the last year. I think it was the year before. No, it was last year. Was it last year? Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah.